Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. Today, a first for me, I'm going to paint some trackside figures. So, I'm going to paint some figures. This is the set of figures that I've got. It is a set of marshals. Um, modern world of very cheap 3D resin printers of high resolution. You're now starting to get some really good 3D printed people, figures, all sorts of things available. Uh, and these particular ones came from an eBay seller, Ron Trackside NE. Um, he does have a Facebook page. I just thought I'd show you. He does a whole range of really good sets of um, 3D printed figures. So yeah, that's that's where these came from. The other person I want to mention is Raul from Conquest Racing Club because on one of his live streams recently he mentioned a painting technique. So I'm going to try this. So what Raul said was, you paint everything black first and then you get some grey paint and paint up 45 degrees around everything and then you get some white paint and you paint down from the top and then you paint the figures. So we'll have a go at this on probably one of the windiest days. I've used twice as much spray paint here as I need to because most of it blew away. Um, but we'll start with painting everything black. So there you can see, everything's nicely covered in black paint. Now, we'll just leave that to dry. And now I'm going over it with the grey primer, as you can see, at about 45 degrees, allowing for the wind a bit as well. Now if I show you that, you can see there's some kind of dark areas and some highlighted areas with the grey. So if we carry on and do the third layer, which is the white, directly from above. And the idea is this kind of simulates the fact that sunlight from above is going to make the highlights on the top brighter. And it should create some shadow effects. And I think actually that works pretty well. For a first go at that, I'm quite impressed. And here we are indoors once they've all dried. If you wanted to create some kind of post apocalyptic zombie nightmare diorama, I guess you could just stop there with all these things being grey. It looks quite evil in its own way. However, we're going to carry on. And at this point, everybody who paints miniatures of any description is just going to scream at their screen. I'm using some cheap brushes I got off eBay and some cheap acrylic paints I got from Hobbycraft. Yes, I know, should probably get some really good stuff, but this is my first go at it and I don't know, we'll see how we go. So the next thing that people that paint miniatures are going to scream at their screen at me for is what I'm going to do next. So the idea now is that you paint everything but not with solid colour but with a kind of watery wash of acrylic paint over the top so the highlights and the shadows show through the layer of paint. So I am using my cheap acrylic paints and I'm thinning them with some water and everybody that paints miniatures will now be telling me I should be using some special thinning stuff but I'm just having a go we'll see what happens so I'm just going to paint this on as a bit of a wash So 
So there you can see, kind of just a watery, splodgy mess of wet, cheap paint thinned with tap water. Yes, I know, I know. Anyway, that will sort of fade as the paint dries out. So we'll just go along all of them here. As you can see, after one coat, once it's dried, it's faded back out and, and you can really see uh, the darks and the highlights through the paint again. So the process now is just to repeat this and repeat this and slowly build up the colour. And I probably did this, I don't know, five coats. And unfortunately, the kind of contrast is a bit washed out and wrong on this video, but the colours built up, you can't really see the shadows quite so well in this video as you can with your eyes, but you get the idea. This guy's a bit better to look at, so you can see better on this one, he's got shadows and highlights. And then obviously I did all the other bits, blue hats, white shirts, black shoes, a flag, a fire extinguisher, a few other bits and pieces. And then they are finished. You can see a bit better with this camera. Um, the shadows and the highlights, I think it works quite well. And newly painted Mr. Thumbs Up Man also approves. And here's a sneak preview of another one that I've painted that will be featured in a forthcoming video. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. If you liked it, you'll find a button specifically for that. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates. It does help the channel. And check out these other great slot car channels.